How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be hopefully live today at 2 at 1:45 p.m. for the Nintendo stream. So make sure to come along and check that out when we go live. So while they were worried about Xbox games going third party, the full slate going to PlayStation, it looks like right underneath their nose Hiroki Totoki has been doing the rounds and this guy means business. He is calling out Bungie, he's calling out everyone. Um, the slim pickings of less than 6% of a net margin is not enough for him, considering how much money they're spending on these games and no one really investing enough to buy these games. The second hand market being rampant, people basically, uh, you know, the first part titles just not selling as well as they used to. It's a problem, but at the same time, it is interesting to see that he has come out and basically said that, you know, in order to strengthen up their games, they need to kind of widen their approach, widen their, you know, their vestiary, their, their, their catalog. They kind of need to broaden out their horizons to other platforms in order to succeed because at the end of the day, the PlayStation platform, despite having 50, 54 million units, is not enough. And with the news that they will not be reaching that 25 million this fiscal year of uh, console sales, they've actually lost 10 billion in value as the stock prices crashed. That's a lot of money to just lose in the blink of an eye. So with this news, it seems like during the call for Sony, Hiroki decided that it's time to shake things up. They're looking at Microsoft and the way they're actually changing the way the industry is working. And Microsoft has never been one to shy from that. And as we know, there are four titles that are going from Xbox to other platforms. And one of them we may see today over at the Nintendo Switch Direct. Now, the well, the Nintendo Direct. And I will be streaming that. I'll start around 1.45 p.m. And we will be having a sharp finish at 2.45 p.m. So it's going to be like an hour stream. And we could just have a quick discussion about it as and, uh, you know, see what's actually present. But... It is going, it is interesting because as you can see here, J Rock says, and he's quoting this section over here in the actual thing, in the actual paragraph for the questionnaire six for the QA. Another driver will be first party titles, strong titles. Now we're talking, well, you know, when he says strong titles, I'm thinking like tentpole titles, but I'm also thinking here, you know, titles like Ratchet and Clank. So it's, it's kind of. A mix between two. Maybe they're not talking about the tentpole titles like the God of War, The Last of Us, The Uncharted, but they're more talking about like the Astro, the uh, you know, the mid-range titles like the Ratchet and Clanks, the Jackson Daxters, and stuff like that. Strong titles that achieve growth on PS5, PCs, and other platforms will widen our margins, said Sony. And he says over here. Strong titles that achieve growth on PS5, PCs, and other platforms will widen our margins. Now, as you know, a lot of the PlayStation fans immediately went on the defensive. That's not what he meant, buddy. He clearly meant mobile and PC, but can't be. He can't be talking about PC because he's already mentioned PC, and then he's talking about other platforms. So the z at the end means it's a plural, and if it's just a cloud, well, that doesn't work because then that would be a singular these you know people that are in these positions like the COO they or the president or the CEO they don't make mistakes when they talk they speak in a specific tongue in a specific manner specifically to portray exactly what they mean so there is no misstep here there is no you know misguided thing here he's clearly talking about other platforms now, obviously, he could be talking about Stadia and Oya. And if that's where he wants to go and burn even more money, that is perfectly okay. Although Stadia has closed down and Oya hasn't existed for a while. With those out the way, then we can only assume that the other platforms could only mean one thing. And that is the Xbox and the Switch. And this kind of makes sense because there's certain titles that get released. The smaller titles, the ones that don't really shift the consoles, like the Jack and Daxters, which are still valuable to the ecosystem because they are, you know, fillers that, you know, adhere to a certain role. But they would actually do really well if pushed out. Live service games, as we saw with Helldivers, being pushed out to multiple platforms would have actually done well. Well, in the case of Helldivers, you can't even sign in at the moment, so that's always a problem. But 
of course you had a lot of you know denial a lot of people coming out backtracking a lot of people coming out saying this wasn't the case they didn't say P xbox on ps uh they didn't say Xbox and Switch. In fact, there's proof now that he actually corrected himself to say that this was the case, that Xbox and Switch were not included. Now, of course, I called out BS on this and I went searching. Now, of course, where did this come from? This came from Engadget, who is the only person that I've, the only publication that I found to be talking about this, with multi platform games playing a significant role. He clarified in the talk that by multi platform, he meant PlayStation and PC, not Xbox and Switch. Clearly, Engadget is a very, very centric PlayStation outlet, and they were clearly trying to, you know, garner engagement, and everyone has uh, quoted this. Of course, you know, even Icon Era turned around and said, hey, buddy, we're kind of uh, not going to... They've Well, initially, they did believe it, and then they deleted the post because they decided this wasn't the hill that they wanted to die on after the Starfield exclusive, which came from Xbox Era. They're all kind of connected, right? But then you've got this, right? And you can see Cole Eastwood here. I read the Hiroki Tatoki talk, and not once does he mention Xbox when referring to multi-platform. Now, as you can see here, Engadget turned around and said he clarified in the talk that by multi-platform, he meant on PlayStation and PC, not Xbox and Switch. And apparently he made that distinction perfectly clear. Now, I'm actually going to go into this because I've got receipts. Now, Finishing off from what Cold Eastwood said, there does not exist, multi-platform does not include Xbox and Switch. Quote in that talk, Icon Era has removed their thread, referencing it because it was fabricated under assumption. I don't believe PlayStation is putting more than a few games on Xbox, but we'll see. Now, we're not saying that the tentpole titles like the God of Wars and Spider-Man are going to be coming, but the smaller titles like the Xbox titles going to a broader audience will be coming. And this over here proves that we do have receipts, so it's not like we're making this up like Engadget is and Engadget is the only one really reporting this and they are being held out to you know dry and I did say there does not exist multi-platform does not include Xbox and Switch in the transcript according to Colt who said he read the whole transcript so where did the media get this from my sources say Uranus and I asked Engadget to add more context. Now, if we go down here, I said, it turns out that the script is here, Sony info, blah, 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 and there is no mention of Xbox and Switch. Seems the media is once again lying. So until Hiroki confirms otherwise, they're coming, boys. Those games are coming. So this is the actual thing, you know, the earnings announcement, the Q&A summary. So I'm going to actually do something for you all. So as you can see there, I'm not sure if this can be seen uh, from the actual oh, yes, it can it's really small, but if you kind of enlarge it and look closely You'll see it right so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna type F O R and you can see that there is 55 of these now if I click on down You can see that the first one is right at the, the first word the second one is at the end of the first sentence and Then the third second sentence has another one so you can see that right and so what we're gonna do now is go Japanese and you can see it clearly finds it right so it's not like this is being fabricated or anything we're gonna type question so you can clearly see that this is being found in fact I'm gonna write important you can clearly see it's being found right so there's no problem here and you can see it says one out of four so if we actually go down the list you can clearly see that it's finding all four of them no problem but what we're going to do now, boys, is actually go Xbox, and it gives you zero out of zero, right? My God, where did they find this information? But then we're going to type Switch. Nothing. We're going to type Nintendo. Nothing. We're going to type Microsoft. Nothing. So my question is to Engadget. Where did they get this information from? Or is my assumption that they got it from Uranus, actually true. Now, I, like you can see here, I did reach out for them to, you know, add more context, they've chosen not to. They're really the only ones that are actually reporting on this outside of Icon Era, who hates Xbox with a passion and will try and defend them until the day they die. And even then, after they realized that it was a whole load of bogus, they pulled back as well. So what this is telling us folks is one thing and one thing clear. 
Xbox, well, PlayStation games are going multi-plat. Now, they're not going full third party, that's, that's obvious. But the era of, you know, games being restricted to a single platform seems to be coming to an end. Unless you're Nintendo, then nothing really applies to you because you are doing exactly what you always do and you never, ever, 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 ever will change. Nintendo is pretty much the Steam. It's pretty much the same thing. They just sit doing their own thing and get everything. It just comes by proxy. They don't even have to do anything. But over here, we can see that, this, you know, from what is being said, strong titles, not tentpole titles. Strong titles to me is telling me that games like Ratchet & Clank, which is a strong title, the Jack and Daxters, the Astro Boys, um, you know, a few in between, you know, games of that caliber, just like we've got with the Sea of Thieves, just like we've got with the Pentiment, just like we've got... <laughs> okay. And, you know, like Hi-Fi Rush, you know, Hi-Fi Rush and Ratchet and & Clank, I think, are on the same caliber. So when you're looking at stuff like that, I think that's what they're talking about when they mean strong titles, and they're going to push those titles out. Now, if Hiroki comes out and says, hey, by the way, I didn't mean Xbox and Switch, that's great. And he had the perfect opportunity, just like every other CEO, every other COO, to come out and say that this is not what I mean, and he could have clarified it specifically. But like I said in the video right at the beginning of the actual video, these people say things specifically in a specific way, in a specific manner, for a specific reason, to make sure that they are within the, you know, circle of what they want to say, and they can push it how they want. Now, what he said clearly means that these games, you know, the strong titles, will be going multiplayer. Which ones they are, we don't know. PlayStation is probably a few years out from where we are, where Xbox is right now, but, you know, who knows what's going to come in the next few years. My assumption is that PC Day and Day is pretty much here now. They've delayed most of their tentpole titles to next year because they're looking to get those titles onto PC day and day. Once they go to PC, the stronger titles that also go to PC can then get ported over to Xbox so much easier. And with this, you know, the new Xbox rumored to be coming 2026, it makes even more sense to start pushing those smaller titles out to the wild to make more revenue. Because the reality is, the amount of money Sony is spending, they're just not making it. And less than 6% Margin is not good considering how much they're spending. Essentially, all they need is one big colossal failure and they are in financial trouble with profits. And unlike Microsoft, who can soak up a lot of it, Sony is not in that position to do that. So it makes perfect business sense for them to actually do this. And I'm sorry, PlayStation fans, but this is looks like it's happening and your lord and savior, Hiroki, is pushing this all the way. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion. Like I said, I'm coming with receipts. We've got those receipts right here. There is no mention of Microsoft, Nintendo, Switch, Xbox, nothing. Now, someone's gonna say, what about Series X? I've typed series. There's not even the word series in here. So not Series S, not Series X, nothing. So with that being said, it's kind of pretty clear now that when he says another driver will be first party titles, strong titles that achieve growth on PS5, PCs and other platforms, he's clearly not just talking about the cloud because cloud would be a singular platform, not a plural platform. Right, everyone, that's the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell to stay up to date of all content I release. We're looking for this video, 250 like challenge. Let's see if we can smash it. If you are new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. We are trying to get to 7,000 subs. So hopefully with your help, we can get there. If you want to support the channel further, you can do that through my Patreon, YouTube membership. You can also do it through the Super Thanks, where if you click on the Super Thanks, you can ask a question and it will instantly be notified to me. So even if there's a chance that I can miss it, I will instantly respond to that question both in the actual message that you've responded to and also in the next video that follows up. Right, everyone? Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.